Welcome everyone to the newest series on my channel, Tootie's Track Analysis. This series will be taking over the short form videos I have been putting out, which was just my best time from the track of the day for each given day. In this new series, I will be giving my post-race thoughts on the track itself, as well as giving my best analysis on how I approach the track. Looking into how I can help myself and possibly help others get better times for future tracks. The videos will start off with my thoughts on the track while it plays out in full and will be followed by my analysis on my best lap. With that said, let's take a look at today's track of the day. Today's post-track thoughts and analysis will be on the track Cochise by Pecorenzo. Today's track Cochise was in the style of a transitional dirt track. I finished today with a gold medal and a time of 43.362 just missing out on the author medal, which was a time of 43.195. I'm not the best dirt driver as I struggle with gearing, which is why I'm so surprised at how close I got to the author medal. Even as a struggling dirt driver, I found Cochise to be a very nice track with little to no complaints about it. Just a very well made track which was a joy to drive. I'll let the rest of my lap play out and then get to the analyzing. Early on here, I thought it was a good idea to go wide at the start and try to get into that third gear before getting on the dirt. Following that, we'll have an immediate left turn here, which I feel like I could have held a little bit longer before turning to the right. Following those couple turns, I feel like there's not a ton to improve on on these next couple parts. I feel like I took them pretty well, pretty cleanly. Uh, the only part I really struggled on maybe here a little bit where I certainly could have jumped a little bit further to the left to get ground contact faster. We'll still make a pretty good jump and a pretty good dirt section here after, but could have been a little more aggressive towards the inside of the dirt. Here is where I thought there could have been a much bigger improvement and probably would have got me the author. If I took a much wider angle to get into this dirt section, it would have allowed me to straighten out after this upcoming uh, turn and started accelerating me in a straight line much faster. As you can see, the previous entrance caused me to have to turn so hard into this turn, so I didn't slide and hit the wall. If I was much straighter on a wider angle here, I could have easily accelerated in a straight line faster and got way more speed. Despite that though, we'll still have decent speed out of here and this jump right here could have been a little more aggressive to the left so we didn't get this little bounce we're about to get, but we still maintained ground contact so it wasn't too costly. Another very nitpicky thing here could have been a little bit further to the left. I got the smallest amount of airtime right here. And as for the rest of the track here, we're just about at the end. I don't think I really could have had much better lines on these last couple of turns and the jump into the finish. So there we have it, the first episode of 2D's Track Analysis in the books. It's my first time trying something like this, so feedback is very much welcome. And if you have any thoughts on how to improve this series going forward, please leave it in the comments. Be sure to check out the full video of my first attempts with live commentary of this track. And as always, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes or any other Trackmania videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode.